What's up guys, welcome to Car Life is Content and welcome to an autumnal day with my M2 competition. A few weeks ago on my M2 competition I fitted an Eventuri carbon air intake system and today I thought we'd just have a quick rundown of my thoughts and feelings with it after I've had it for a few weeks now. Whether it's worth the money, whether you should get one, whether it increases performance, sound and all that jazz. So let's have a quick look at it. Let's just have a quick look at this car before we get stuck into the review. I've had the black wheels put back on now after I had my gold 763s on. These are my winter wheels. I think I've got Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's on there at the moment. Um, after I've taken off the Cup 2s on the yellow wheels, let me know what you think. Are these better or not as good as the frozen golds uh, that are my summer wheels? got lots more planned for this channel over the coming weeks I've got a new edition coming it's not BMW related it's not Porsche related so do subscribe for more updates for that you can find me at that mr. Smith on Instagram but other than that let's get stuck into the review but before we go out for the review I uh, had a quick look at the engine bay and I think it looks a bit dirty so I'm gonna have a quick spruce up there I've uh, got some of this stuff ACF 50 it's uh, supposedly used a lot in the biking world and aircraft industries for keeping engines clean so let's see how well it works on my engine bay it's looking a little bit dusty in places around here um, so we'll give it a quick spruce up a bit of a degrease and uh, apply some of this stuff and see how we get up we've had a bit of a spruce up on the engine bay let's have a little bit of a close-up see if we can get the camera to pick it up I hope the camera could pick it up before I got cleaning but all of this parts here were all dusty there's also some thin film on the cross brace and also very thin film on the uh, brand new uh, carbon cover and intake as well um, these metal parts have come up really nice with the ACF 50 I would uh, and the plastic bits as well they've really come up quite nicely I would uh, recommend it uh, thus far um, let's hope that um, it holds up over a longer period I've done the turrets as well there they've really come up like brand new alrighty so here we are then uh, since I fitted it there's been it's been about three weeks a month since the fitting video that you've seen uh, and now so I've had um, about three weeks a month's worth of driving in this car to get a feel for what it's like um, whether it's any better um, so yeah let's get into it I mean straight off the bat there's a little bit of extra noise going on I think it's a little bit faster as well they say 20 horsepower 5% I think that's maybe about right I might it might be the butt dyno playing tricks on me but it does feel a little bit quicker Let's see if we can spool it up and get it get it sounding a little bit nicer. Oh, I found a bit of open road now. I hope you can hear it on the camera there. It's definitely got a more of a whoosh to it. You can hear that air really coming in. Um, it's not super pronounced. I've still got the in-cabin sounds on this car. Yeah, definitely when you lift off the throttle, you can hear it there. Can you hear that? bit more engine noise doing and going on with it as well yeah you can definitely hear it pushing off maybe I'll try it with the uh, with the window down you might get a bit better I hope you hear it on the camera because otherwise <laughs> this uh, this video was a bit a bit pointless but uh, there we go let's see let's see all right I'll just come around this corner crack the window a little bit Must be able to hear that that whizzing sound yeah there you go so that's what you're paying for really <laughs> I mean you get the extra 20 horsepower but you know I paid 1800 pounds for this um, for, for this air intake and there are much much cheaper ways to get 20 horsepower out of the car for sure um, I mean it does sound nice it does sound nice and it does look really nice as well so you know 
there is that. Um, with the carbon engine bay cover, with the, sorry, with the carbon cover for the engine, um, I think that's like six hundred pounds for me, Venturi. I didn't pay that. I got it from out somewhere else for much, for much, much cheaper. I paid like one hundred and sixty pounds new, and it was advertised as an M3 M4 engine. But obviously, as we all know, it's the same engine on these M2 comps. So I thought, you know, for one hundred and sixty quid, it's worth a punt. Uh, to see if it fits and the guy said I could return it anyway so um, yeah but anyway it's a straight fit as we thought it, as I thought it would be and uh, yeah no problems there yeah it does sound nice and it does feel a bit faster it's good oh god this car is good um, but uh, yeah so um, do I think it's worth the £1,800 I'm not sure what what price they'll be when you see this but I paid £1,800 for it I might have got a slight discount as well just for haggling not for being a mega YouTube star with 250 subscribers. Um, so, do I think it's worth the 1800 pounds? There are cheaper ways uh, to get an air intake and probably release that sound as well. Um, it, I, it, it is the best looking air intake out there. Uh, I don't think anybody will argue with that. Um, is it worth the 1800? Probably not. If you want the best one, then yeah, you, that's what you gotta pay. Um, that's what you got to pay I didn't really have a problem with paying that um, but um, yeah you know your mileage may differ you could probably get something with similar performance and noise effects for you know half a third of the price so you know go and get one of those if, if that's really what you want um, as I, I did it as, you know I just wanted to give the engine bay a bit of a glow up as it was looking a bit uh, a bit dull in there um, but yeah I would actually, one downside I've found with this is that I don't know if you've, if you've got an M2 comp, you'll know this, but if you're in MDM mode or if you're in sport mode, um, you know how the car can kangaroo in low down, car, in low down gears. You know how the car can kangaroo in low down gears in sport mode. With this intake, it does that very, very slightly even in normal driving mode. Like I found it at very, very low speeds in, in car parks, and supermarket car parks, or whatever, that it was jolting slightly, kangaroo. Not to the point, Not it's not anywhere near as bad as it is um, when you're in sport mode on the, on the stock intake, but it was very slightly there. Um, you know, it wouldn't stop me. I'm not about to remove it because of that, but, um, uh, but you know, just something to be aware of. Anyway, as I said, I've got more content coming on the channel. Um, I've got a new addition coming to the garage. It's not what you expect. It's not BMW. It's not a Porsche. It's not my new M2. It's uh, something else, something of a left field. Um, so subscribe for more updates on that. I think that will be coming on my next video. Maybe I've got one other in between now and then. But um, yeah, it will be enjoyable. Trust me, it will be really good. Um, so subscribe, like, comment down below what you think about the Eventuri air intake. Um, tell me about those uh, the frozen gold wheels versus the black wheels as well down below. Um, you know, I quite like the black wheels too. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you next time. I'm waffling now. Bye.